What makes the U.S. Open the toughest one to win? Oh, well, you have to have every faster your game going. Uh, you have to drive the ball well. You got to hit your irons well. And at most opens, um, you know, speed on the greens is usually an issue. Not, not this year, obviously, being so wet and soft. Um, but generally, this is the, you know, the hardest major we face, you know, year in and year out. Uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, the fairways are much softer than when we faced in 0-2. Um, we had not one day of rain on Friday, I believe. Uh, but it still dried out pretty good and come the weekend. Uh, it's not going to be the, the case this year. And uh, the golf course is playing long. Um, you know, they moved the tees back. And I don't feel like I've gotten you know, any shorter since 2002. Uh, but man, I'm, I'm just worn out my long irons. Um, so it, it is a little bit different. But then again, if you hit long irons or hybrids or whatever you have in there and in the greens, the ball's holding. You know, it's, that's not repelling, so it uh, really doesn't matter what you're hitting into the greens too much. The ball's going to hold. Do you like your chances? I mean, if it, if it does get wet, it is a long iron course. Yeah. Do you prefer your chances in something like that? Well, I like my chances in any major. Um, I, I just enjoy, you know, having to think your way around the golf course. It's not, you know, you know a lot of the tour events we play, um, you just have to make birdies. And if you don't shoot 68, you're losing ground. Here, if you shoot 68, you're moving up on the leaderboard. And that, that to me, is fun. Um, par is rewarded. Um, and a birdie is really rewarded. And that, that to me, is it's, uh, how the game of golf should be played. 